Yeah, I mean, uh, I think we've had some interesting games uh, in the last few weeks, but uh, I think just uh, just getting it done and making sure we get the two points, I think that's uh, uh, that's definitely the most important thing. Obviously, when you came here, you knew there'd be a lot of big transitions, new system, new team, new building, all those things. But maybe what, what have been some of the maybe little things that you didn't expect to be uh, you know, different that you've been working through? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, when you go to a new team, there's uh, I feel like every day there's something new to uh, to learn or or to know. Uh, it's been uh, uh, it's been pretty uh, good transition. Uh, I mean, obviously the coaches and and the players uh, uh, help a lot with that, but uh, it's been pretty smooth. How much fun has it been playing on that five forward power play in it? Yeah, it's fun. Uh, I've never done that before. Uh, I know it's we're kind of just trying to feel each other out. Um, I think we can uh, get more opportunities to get pucks on net and. Uh, get more more chances in uh, in one power play than just to kind of move it around and but we're just getting a feel to it We're trying to work on our our, uh, our chemistry with all five guys and uh, We just got to keep working at it. You guys are in a good spot in the standings You know, you've got a good team. You've played a ton of big games in your career at this point in the year What are the, the biggest habits that you need to key in on focus on? Yeah, it's very important I mean when, when you have ten games left to play uh, it's fair it's very important to to keep building on what you're doing and make sure that uh, how you're playing, it's uh, uh, you don't have to think about it. You just go out there, play the game, and um, you know one thing about here, it's just we go out there and have fun, and, uh, and that could be one of the reasons why we're uh, we're successful. So uh, we have everybody playing great right now. We just got to keep rolling. So one of the team's big goals down the stretch, I'm sure, was like incorporating the new guys, finding chemistry, all that kind of stuff. You feel it seems like you feel pretty comfortable now in that line with Huberto. You guys. Have found some success. Do you feel like you've kind of built that chemistry to kind of where you would like it to be? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, a little bit. I think uh, I think we, we can still find more chemistry, but uh, we've been working uh, hard together to, uh, uh, to to find the chemistry that we want to have. And uh, the three of us were, uh, I, th I think every game we uh, were taking a step forward. So uh, we just got to keep uh, working on it. I mean, you had playoff battles with Patrick Hornquist when he was in Pittsburgh. I mean, now having him as a teammate, the way he plays the game, how how good is it to have that guy on your team in a, a playoff push like this? Yeah, I mean, he does the little things that maybe not a lot of people see, uh, especially around the net. He uh, uh, finds ways to uh, to get a tip, to find a rebound, or uh, or or on 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 the uh, on the D zone, he always makes the right play. So uh, when you have a guy like that, uh, a veteran player that that's played a lot of big games in his career. I mean, uh, it's just, uh, it's great for the team. And then just your experience playing against him in the playoffs too. I mean, he's one of those agitator guys sometimes. I mean, did you have problems with him when he was in Pittsburgh? Too? Yeah, I had a lot of problems. <laughs> uh, I mean, we uh, we went at it a few times, but I mean, it uh, makes the game a little bit more fun. And uh, But like I said, he's played a lot of big games in his career and uh, to have that kind of veteran guy in the locker room to uh, to get the, the boys fired up or to, to just calm down things. I think he uh, uh, he's 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 a vocal guy, and guys respect him. So it's uh, uh, it's uh, it's really good when he's being uh, vocal in the game. The yeah. other day he said you're like a shorter Barkov. Is that a compliment or an insult? Yeah, <laughs> I told him to instead of calling me a, a shorter uh, Barky, hopefully he can call uh, Barky uh, a bigger G. So uh, <laughs> uh, it didn't go very well, but uh, you know you just gotta roll with it. I just want to ask you, obviously, like I said, you've had a couple off days now since you've been here as well. It's how much are you enjoying the, the area, just being here in South Florida and being able to explore a little bit? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I mean, we've been playing a lot, so uh, not a lot of days off and not a lot of time to kind of see around. But, uh, you know, yesterday I went to the beach with uh, with the family, and uh, it was great. So uh, any, anytime you get a day off to to get your mind off of it and uh, kind of recharge, it's always great. So, um, uh, But we're back at it right now, and I'm uh, ready to go tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks.